parties and welcome back to my channel today i have this cute simple easy protective style for you guys i already went ahead and separated my hair into four sections i did use my aunt jackie's hydrating seal and butter and i did use my blue magic indian hemp on my scalp already if you don't already follow me on social media be sure to follow me at the shade jenny so i'm going ahead and part in my hair and I'm going to be using my smoking gel. This gel does not give you a really good hole, but it does give you a smooth look uh, while you're braiding. Okay, my baby is just doing the voiceover. He wants to do the voiceover. Okay, okay, true, go ahead. Go ahead, do the voiceover. <laughs> so, so I'm just <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and braiding my hair down and I'm inserting the hair between my ring finger and my middle finger and I'm continuing braiding. So I did buy uh, one pack of hair. I'm going to show you guys the picture of what the hair looks like. Uh, so it comes with three bundles. I used five bundles and I pretty much sectioned each bundle in four. I have a total of 17 uh, jumbo braids in my hair. Um, and this is a super cute, super easy style. I'm going to be coming in and out with the voiceover just to explain whatever I'm doing in that area. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you like how this style looks, definitely give your girl a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. So the back is usually the most difficult because I can't really see. It's hard for me to part the back. It's hard for me to do the fit, feed in at the back. But this is how I do it. Um, and it still turned out pretty good. 
Remember you're inserting the hair between your ring finger and your middle finger and you just continue breathing as usual. I did go ahead and add a little bit of gel to the tips of my natural hair just to blend, blend it in with the braids even better. Uh, you could actually add the gel on all your natural hair to give it like a really nice sleek look. So I went ahead and dipped my ends in some hot water just to seal them and then I'm going ahead and using this goddess curls uh, hair and then I'm just going to be crocheting them in the middle of each braid to give it that goddess curl look. Last but not least, I'm going ahead and taking some mousse and just running it through my hair just to give it a nice finished look. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.